Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next pr problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is a lockout line problem that was submitted to me by WooferZFG. And um, while I'm flagging this one as easy, um, if you haven't seen lockout lines before, this one may give you a little bit of a pause. So normal Sudoku rules apply on this one. You cannot repeat any of the digits one to nine in any um, box, column, or row. Um, and along lockout lines, the digits in the diamonds must be at least four apart. And within a line between diamonds, the digits on the line cannot be between or equal to the number in the diamond. So whatever is on the diamonds, what goes on the line um, must be outside the bounds of the digits in the diamonds. So um, I'm going to suggest you pause the video and I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so... Um, yeah, all of this is basically just on, on these lines. And the, the thing to think about, of course, is what locks out a six from a line? So because the digits on the diamonds have to be at least four apart, um, what you need is you need to have um, a five digits, basically, um, that are going to not include a six between them. So if I was to put a two here, the only thing that would be five or more apart would be a six or higher. And if I include, say, two seven, and I couldn't use two anyway, so if I went to a three, um, if I went three seven here, six is between three and seven, so it's not locked out on locked out of those digits, so it can't go on the line, and it gets worse the closer I get to the six. So the only digits that can have a six on it, and if you make your own lockout line table, which I do highly recommend, the only digits that can have a six on a lockout line are one and five. So these become one and five. But if this becomes a one, then what you end up with is the situation where um, whatever I do that is four apart, two is going to be between one and whatever the digit is. So this has to be the five and this has to be the one. The only digits that can be four apart from five are one and nine. And so these are the one and nine, but I've already got the one. So this becomes the nine and that completes the problem. So that's the way this one works. Um, very, very in, um, gentle introduction to lockout lines on this one. Um, hopefully more will come along later, um, hint, hint to setters, um, that will ramp up the difficulty. But as an introduction to lockout lines and thinking about why they work, this is a very nice little problem. Thanks, Wolf ZFG, for submitting it. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.